to all of you wonderful subscribers who have subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you. And to those who haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated. I will take you a second. What I want to talk to you about today is can we possibly set up the internal manuscript for a book, a wordy book, a long form book if you like, um, in Canva? Well the answer is yes, it could save you a lot of money and a lot of money and you could actually design your interior pages to look however you like. So where you've got a nice chapter heading, you can design all that kind of thing yourself. You can set out your pages yourself, the fonts, everything about it. Now I'll put links to all this, uh, all these resources in the description below, like I do with uh, every video. So don't forget to click on the description. If you don't know where it is, simply go to any video and underneath the title of the video, you'll see some text and you'll see show more and that's where more information will be and all the links or chapter settings or whatever um, they'll all be inside there we'll set it out that at um, five inches by eight inches five inches wide by eight inches tall which is a pretty popular size we want a narrow margin on the outside and a wider margin on the gutter margins protect your content from running off the edge of the page and being cut off during the manufacturing process uh, we're also going to base this book on 151 to 300 pages now inside gutter margin 0.5 of an inch outside margin 0.25 that's the minimum size you can have so you can add a little bit more to that if you want to be on the safe side like 0.75 if you want there or on the outside margin instead of 0.25 maybe 0.3 or 0.35 or 0.4 you know just just to give yourself a bit of clearance but make them different so the outside margin is usually a lot narrower than the gutter margin which is really there just to so you don't have to bend the book back to get at the text right so we've got our measurements here now we go to canva and we're going to create in inches a width of five inch and the height of eight inch. so let's just add a few pages I will leave a template in the links for this so you'll be able to click on it and go straight to Canva and mess about with it yourself from there if you wish. Now this is where the fun begins. This is where we start working with our margins because this is probably one of the hardest parts about doing this but it's super important. Now you can get a live journal or um, something quite simple, a children's book. People don't bother with the left and right margins. They just slap something bang in the middle. And, you know, that's fine but... Uh, I'd rather have the margins, and so would anybody reading a novel, a non-fiction book, something wordy. We go back to this by Amazon, like I say, the link will be in the description, and 151 to 300 pages we're going for on this, so the inside, or the gutter margin, needs to be 0.5 of an inch. So we go back to our manuscript, what we're going to do is we're going to get an element, we're going to pick a square, and we're going to go into the corner, like that, so it meets everything and we're going to move this until it says 0 0.5 0 0.5 that's the first one we're going to copy that and paste it and move it to the other side of the page and we're going to go and find out what the outside margin is and it's 0 0.25 a minimum of i'll close that in we'll go with 0 0.3 on that so already you can see the shape of the book and the margins are going to work because along this edge will be the spine of the book and some of this will be stuck in the spine so that's why that border has to be bigger but you could put that one if you like bigger again or the same size but what will happen is because half of that's missing or a portion of that will be missing this will look like a bigger margin so you can understand that you can you can see how it works right okay so now we'll go to add another page and this time we'll copy this one and we'll paste it and drag it over to the other side okay and we'll copy this one and we'll drag it over to this side right okay so we've got our first two pages and this is basically our template we can basically duplicate each of these pages as we move along once we finish with them we're not finished with them yet go back to find out our margin sizes the top bottom and outside margins must be a minimum of 0.25 so that includes the top we'll pick square again and we'll move it up until we've got well, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. Okay, 
and we'll copy that and we'll paste it and we'll drag it down to the bottom so it fits in the bottom. Right, so that's our first page set up and we have all the margins right. Now again, that's on the right hand side of the book. Go down to the next one, we can copy these top and bottom ones. Copy and paste, it fits right in its spot. Copy and paste. Now we can only have 150 pages with Canva, but I'll get to that in a, in a little bit. Right, so this is where we first start our page numbering. And this will be the start of the first chapter. Let's put a bit of text in here. What I've done is I've just copied some text from uh, Amazon there. And what we want to do is work out where we want it to start. We want a nice bit of space above for the chapter title header there. We'll drag that in. So it's now met both margins. Get some text. We'll drag it down here. Stretch it across to the edge of that, to the inside margin. And again to this one, we'll put one. So we know that that one is centered between these two margins. So nothing's wonky. We don't need it so big. So we'll get it down to about a 10 and we'll move it down here like this. This text is at a 12, which is a good reading, a good reading size, 11 or 12. Right, we also want to know when do we stop typing? We go to elements again, to frame, drag that down to the bottom of the screen, move it over, bring it down and we we do it to wherever we want. Okay, so I don't want the text coming past this black line, only up to it. That's that done. And we can copy that and we can paste it into here and move it into position. And we can the same with the text for the numbering, copy, paste and move it into position. So it's within the margins. All right, okay. So now we need the chapter. What we can do is we can go to text. We can see it all. We can have a little look. Now there's nothing wrong with that one. So we could get that in. We could manipulate that a bit. So I could put chapter one there and shrink that right down. Play about with it a little bit until we have this. And I'm just going to set this until it touches the line. Just in case we can always check then in future. Check that line as it's that horizontal line as it's coming down. We know it's set up for that then, don't we? And the same with the text. We could move that up so it meets that line. If it's too close, give it a couple of notches, a couple of arrows down to three maybe four okay so that's the start of the first chapter and it's on page one and what do you do about all these well if you don't want you could just have them white and they won't show up like that and now you can see the broader border and the narrower border it, it makes that page stand out we go on down here so we're keeping all this text the same type of text. We've chosen how, what sort of text we want from here. Now I'll drag that up, keeping it within the margins and keeping it just up to the top of that box. You see that box, how it clicks there. Because what I want to do now is I want to add some more text. I'm going to choose the smallest one. We're going to put it right in the top. Book title on this side and chapter title on this side. Okay, so let's just say the book's called How to Format a Book in Canva. Okay, now that looks a bit too close there, so we'll come one down from that. And we're basically, like I say, we're setting up the templates for the following pages. And we don't have to keep messing about like this throughout the rest of the book. Change the number here to a page two. We'll just take those colours away. We'll just make them white. Without them borders there, the frame could slip and you won't be able to get it in back into position. For, in, for instance, if I was to move that to there, without them borders being in the background, if it come to readjust them, you wouldn't be able to get back into that same place. You see? Right, okay, so we've got that page set up. I'm going to make these white again. We've got the gutter margin on that side, then the gutter margin on this side, and so on and so on all the way through the book. Now the gutter margin is on the right on the even numbers. Gutter margin is on the left on the odd numbers. Right, okay, so now we want to have more pages in this chapter. So what do we do? Well, it's quite simple. We duplicate, but we don't duplicate this page. We duplicate the one from above because we want these margins on the one after. Right, we've duplicated it, but it's gone straight underneath that first one. So that's okay, we just go down and there we are. So now we've got the first page with the margins on the gutter margins on the left, the next page with the gutter margins on the right, and 
the next page with the gutter margins on the left. But you see, we don't want the chapter in this one, so we can just delete it. Now we want this in here. This is the chapter title, which is setting out the pages. And I'm using all capitals in this. Okay, so I'm going to move that up, making sure that the gutter margin is still on the left, on the widest part. See, we push this text up against the line and we come down. Are we one or two there or are we just one? We're just one. Okay, so we'll go just one. We've already got the chapter page and the following pages all set up with the margins jumping from one side to the other. So the next page will be an even number with the gutter on the right. So we want an even number with the gu biggest gutter on the right. Okay, so we'll duplicate that. It's gone straight underneath that one, so we move it back down again. So there we are. And we want the next page to be an odd number with the gutter on the left. So we duplicate that and we move it down one. And so on. And that's how we build up our pages. But we make sure the numbers are right, of course. Right, okay, we're getting there. Now what if we want to start another chapter? Now, it's not too complicated because you know the chapter has to start on an odd number and on the right hand side so that's the odd number it's going to start on 19 we're at 17 here and we've said so let's just say we've finished that chapter so what do we do we're going to duplicate a page not this one we're going to keep with the rhythm so we want the wider border so we're going to duplicate and move it down okay so we've got the even number and we're not going to have any text in here because we finished the chapter there so you might think that's a bit of a waste of space but it doesn't really matter because the chapter has to start on the right hand side. It's uh, it's an unwritten rule. That's the even number on the left. So we go back up to the chapter, which is an odd number, as you can see. Margin on the left. We duplicate it, and it's gone straight under that first one. So we just keep going down. Move down, move it down, move it down. Move that page down until we've got nowhere else to go. First things first, we change the chapter to whatever the next chapter is going to be, and it's going to be chapter two. That's the setup. That's how we're going to work with this. And we just keep going and going and going. If you've only got 150 pages and you've got 300, but Canva will only let you have 150, what do you do? Let's download that and we'll save it as a PDF print. Finish the previous manuscript at the end of a chapter. So if it was, say, um, page 141, and that was the last, the last words of the last, that last chapter on that uh, manuscript. You wouldn't have fit a whole new chapter in on the next bit, on the next few pages. So you save it as that. The right, you start your next one. So what you do is you make a copy, and you're ready for another chapter. And everything's set up for you. Let's download this one. We've, let's just pretend we've, we've filled all the rest of these chapters in. So we download that. So right, okay, what we're going to need to do now is join these two up. So there's plenty of free online apps for that. Right, here's one called PDF Joiner. It's completely free. You may have it with your own PDF programs, whether you can, you can join or merge a couple of PDFs together or more. So upload the files. And here's both the files. And make sure they're in the right order. If not, move them around. Okay, one and two I've called them. Join the files. And then we start again with the next chapter. That's where it's been joined. Before you start putting your words into the manuscript, into those blank spaces that you're creating, make sure it's right. Make sure it's been, it's been proofread a couple of times maybe. It's been copy edited maybe. Um, make sure you've gone over and over it so there's no errors at all in it. Because once you put those words in those spaces and if you find an error in it later yeah sure you can go back to the manuscript and take that error or change that error but if it's a if it's a major error and might involve um, a whole sentence being removed then that page can look could look odd there could be a big gap somewhere and you can't move everything up from page to page because it'll be a nightmare it'd be a nightmare to do it's not like a Word document where you can just move things up. You're basically um, going to spend a few days uh, correcting that. 
So make sure your manuscript is right, because all you'll be doing then is copy and pasting your text from your proofread, copy-edited manuscript, or however you want to do it, if you want to do it yourself, but make sure it's right, into those spaces. And there's more information on my YouTube channel. So if you go to my channel, and you'll see these playlists here, writing and formatting a manuscript. See full playlist. Closing gaps. Hyphenation. Talking about copy editors and proofreaders. Why you need them. Book chapters. What are they? How are they structured? Uh, how many words in a chapter? How to write a book. Getting started. Paragraphs. What's in a paragraph? I'll be adding to this shortly as well with what's a sentence. Um, and lots of other information. So I hope that helped. And um, I'm going to get myself a coffee. Because <laughs> my head's pounding. Uh, thank you.